Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about helpers in CodeIgniter. So we're on CodeIgniter site here, codeigniter.com slash user guide, and we can see on the right here is the helper reference. And basically what helpers are in CodeIgniter is some CodeIgniter specific functions that are going to help us to do something a lot faster than if we had to write the function ourselves. So the helpers are there to save us time, so we definitely want to learn them. So let's take a look at them. And the first one we're going to talk about today is the array helper. So first of all, if we want to use a helper in our code, we have to load it in first. And there's a couple of different ways to load it in. So the way I did here is I went to my home function and I typed this, load, and then helper function, and then I passed in which helper I wanted. Here I want the array helper. Okay, so just by doing this, I loaded in the array helper. Um, if you found that every page on your site you needed this array helper for whatever reason, you could save yourself some time by doing this, and you can go to autoload, and autoload.php is application, config, then autoload.php, and you would scroll down here to autoload helper, and inside here you will pass in the, the helper that you need. So we put array in there, okay? But in this case, I don't need to do that because I'm loading it into my controller, okay? So we've got that loaded up, and then I'm creating a data variable. This is going to get passed to the view. And so let's take a look at the view. So the first helper, the first array helper we're going to look at is the element function. Okay, and it's just like this element and then some parens to the right of it. And I'm creating a variable here, ci underscore array, and that's set to an associative array with three keys in it, name, size, and lang. And what I'm doing here is I'm echoing out element. First parameter I'm passing in is the key that I'm looking for, which is this one. And what array am I looking in? Well, I'm looking in this array. Uh, that's the second parameter. And then we're echoing it out. So if it finds this key, it will return um, it will return its value, which is CodeIgniter. And then we're echoing that out. In the next example, we are um, doing the same thing, but with the URL key. Now the URL key is not present in this array. So what's going to happen, it, it's going to return null. And when we echo out the value null, it's, it's just going to echo out an empty string. Okay, So what you're going to see on this line is you're just going to see what I concatenated on here. You're not going to see the word null because that's an empty string anyways. And the last one down here is I'm using the element function again on the URL, which isn't there, in the CI array. But this time, I'm setting a default value if it doesn't find anything. So in this case, instead of returning um, null, we're telling it to return the string not there. Let's take a look at that. And you can see it right here. So code igniter, and we echoed out null here. Nothing there, but we got this string that I concatenated on. And the last one we set a default value for something that wasn't there, so it's not there. The next, the next helper I think is the most useful one, in my opinion, and it's this random element function. Okay, so what I did here is I created a cards array. There's nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace, and what we're doing is we're just echoing out, we're running the random element on this cards variable and it's going to give us um, a random element. Let's see that in action. I'm going to refresh here, okay, and we can see it's king. So it randomly took out one of the elements from it. If I refresh here, we're going to get different elements each time. Okay, so I thought that was pretty useful. Let's go back to the code. The next helper that we're going to look at is the elements helper. So let's take a look at that. 
So the first function that we looked at was element without an S. This one has an S on it, elements. And what this does is it looks through an array for certain keys and if it finds them it will store them into a new array and if it doesn't find them it will return false. So um, it works like this. So we have the elements um, function here and it takes two parameters. The first parameter is the array of things that you're looking for. So name, size, and language. And the next parameter is the array that you're looking for. So we're looking for this name key, size key, and language key inside the CI array. Now remember the CI array, um, the last one was lang, it wasn't language. So this shouldn't exist in the array. So what's going to happen is it's going to run this function and it's going to return an array to new array. And inside new array, it's going to, um, this is going to return whatever's there. This is going to return what's there. But this language is going to return false because there's no language key inside uh, this CI array. Okay. And we're going to print it out and let's, um, let's take a look at that first. Let's comment this out. Okay, so we can see here um, we did print our function on it. Name was codeigniter, size was this string, and language, there's nothing there because this is false. Okay, and what I did here was um, wait, this is the conditional operator, also known as the ternary operator in, in PHP. So we're saying this new, the new array we're creating, which is, um, and then the language element of it, if this returns true, um, return this string, return true. If it's false, then return this string, return false. And that gets returned to this value element here. And then we're just echoing out whatever value is. Let's take a look at that. Okay, and we can see it return false. Okay, so we checked this, if this was false or not, it was false, so we returned this string. And the last bit of it is, oops. So CodeIgniter says that this could be useful for controlling what elements are sent to uh, one of your model functions. So you can see um, if this is useful or not to you um, in your code. Maybe you can use it, like CodeIgniter says, for um, controlling you know, what. Um, they, the example they used is the, um, let's just uncomment this so I can see it clearer. So for example, um, if you're loading in your model and it's called post model, well, and you have this method in your post model, which is update. So you're set, you're sending in, um, you're controlling which which elements are sent from the post array. So the post array could have all sorts of different elements in it, but you just want to send these three. That way, you can control which elements were sent to your uh, sent to your model function. Okay, thanks for watching.